Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z, and today I'm going to give you an overview of the Moyu portable folding washing machine. So I'm going to start with what comes in the bag. I'm going to show you how it works. And in the end, I'm going to give you a brief review on what my thoughts are on this portable washing machine. So first of all, let's have a look at what comes in the bag. So the first item it comes with is this dust bag with the elastic top so that you can put your portable washing machine inside for travel. It also comes with this AC adapter so you will need a wall plug. It also comes with this draining basket to which I'll show you how you use it later. And of course the most important item is the actual folding washing machine. As you can see it comes with a lid and this is the washer. You can see that it's already folded up and the measurements of this folded up is around 30 by 30 centimeters by 9 centimeters vertically. So actually it is quite compact so that you could put it in a luggage and it easily opens up by just pushing along the top here along the spinner and it should open up. So let's open it up. So when this is fully open, it's approximately 30 by 30 by 30 centimeters approximately. So I'm just going to show you what this portable washing machine looks like. It does have a top handle as you can see here. It has a removable cover that is just easily taken off like this. The electrical outlet goes into here. You can see that the control panel here is right there. And you can see there are three modes. So there is a wash mode and rinse mode, each for five minutes or 10 minutes. And then there's also a spin mode for six minutes. And this is the controller at the center here where you choose how long you want to spin it for. And then the side just looks like that. The other side and the other side looks like this. And then along the bottom, you can see that there is a pipe here, which is to drain out the water. However, based on my experience, I find that it's actually faster to drain the water by pouring the water into the top. If you take a look inside, you can see that there is a spinner in the center, and that is the spinner that basically spins the water for the wash and the rinse cycle. However, for the third cycle, if you need to drain your clothing, you need to put this spinner inside, which is the drainer and basically this drainer has two sizes it can be like this where you just put it inside or if you need more space you can actually expand this so that it is slightly taller so now that i've shown you the components of the portable washing machine let's try it so we're going to fill up this tub with water with about half of the bucket and we're going to fill it up up to approximately where this line is So here I have a Walsh concentrated laundry cleaner. So I'm just going to put in one squirt. So today I'm going to wash one shirt and one pair of shorts. Like so. And now we're going to turn on the portable washing machine by pushing on this button. And we're going to wash it for 10 minutes. So we're going to choose 10 minutes. And you can hear the washing machine start to move. So we've just completed washing these clothes for 10 minutes and we're going to pour out the water from the portable washing machine. It's really important that you pour the water from this side where it has to form draining holes. So we're going to do that first. It 
It's worth noting that there are four stoppers at the bottom of the tub to keep the portable washing machine grounded and stable. And I'm going to remove the draining pipe from the bottom of the portable washing machine. And I'm just gonna line it up along here. And then I'm gonna place the draining tube facing the tub so that the water can come out of there. And what I do is I would just pull this lever and you can see that the water also drains out this way. In case you don't want to drain the water by pouring it over the bucket, you can also use this draining tube. So now that we have removed the water from the wash cycle, we are going to add more water for the rinse cycle. And again, we're going to fill it up with water approximately halfway up the bucket for the rinse cycle. So now we're ready for the rinse cycle. And again, we have filled up the portable washing machine with clean water up to about half of the, the bucket again along this line and we're going to turn on the rinse cycle so again if we go down to the control we will set it for 10 minutes and the portable washing machine should start rinsing now So now that we have completed the rinse cycle, again, we're going to drain the water and we're going to pour out the water again from the side of the bucket with the four holes. So after we have emptied the bucket, we can now put the draining basket inside. And because we have a bit more clothing, we are going to enlarge this draining basket. It clicks like this. So there is a hole here and these three slots that you can fit directly onto the bottom of the portable washing machine like so. So here we have the shorts and we have ringed it a little bit because the spin cycle is not that strong. So we have ringed out some extra water and we put this inside the spinner. And here is the shirt that we have just washed. And again, we will put that along the top of the spinner. So now that we have placed both items inside the spinner, we're ready to start the spin cycle. So again, we go to this area and we push it until it reaches six minutes for the spin cycle. the clothing and generally it will dry overnight so I thought I'd share with you the pros and cons of this portable washing machine so the pros are that the washing machine is compact and convenient and portable it weighs about 2.5 kilograms so it's relatively light to carry around either in your apartment or if you want to carry it in your luggage. I find that this portable washing machine is very good if you want to use it for travel, if your apartment is really small and you don't have space for a washing machine, or if you just simply have small loads where you don't want to waste a lot of water, it's really good for small loads of laundry.
laundry. In addition, it's relatively fast because each cycle is about 10 minutes and it saves you from washing with your hands because it might hurt your back to bend over and simply just if you don't want to hand wash your items. And finally, it's relatively inexpensive compared to a full washing machine. So what are the cons of this machine? The first con is that it has limited capacity. In other words, you can only wash about two shirts and maybe a few undergarments. Otherwise, it gets too heavy and the machine cannot spin or rotate to be effective. And the draining function is not that great. What we found is that we often had to wring dry the clothes in order for it to be fully dry. So you may have to wring dry the clothes a bit more before you put it in the spinning function or in some cases we just hand wrung the clothes before we hung them dry and that was also perfectly fine. And the final con is that we found that the washing cycle was a bit short and it would be nice if there was some flexibility to be able to set your own washing cycle time for a longer washing cycle instead of repeating every 5 to 10 minutes for example if we could set it at 20 minutes. So overall do I recommend this portable washing machine? I would say that that if you don't have too many clothes and you need the convenience, I do recommend the portable washing machine. However, if you do have a lot of clothes or if you have a lot of clothes that tend to be more heavy duty clothing, the capacity might not be that great and the strength is probably not strong enough to spin the heavier items. Having said that, I have seen on other videos that some people may have been able to wash some more heavy duty clothing such as jeans. I haven't personally tried that myself, but I have seen other YouTube videos where they have been able to wash heavier items like jeans. So what do you think of this portable washing machine? Please feel free to leave comments down in the comments section below. And if you're interested in purchasing this machine, I will put links to this portable washing machine in the description down below. And finally, if you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit that like button. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this video useful and I wish you a fantastic day. Bye bye now.